So what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. True, true. What's that? What's that? Yo, who's that? Yo, you pick up the phone. Hello? What's that? What's that? Yeah. Yo, where's Dookie? Yo, Dookie! Yo. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Hold on. Hello? So what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. All right, you lot. Let's make television! Your time has come, you smug bastard. The aliens are here. We're all going to die. Are you aware that I am rubber and you are glue and everything that you say to me bounces off of me and sticks to you? I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me.
How's that? Is that better? I added myself to the stage. Let me go to... Well, first, that has to happen. Nope. God damn. Oh, yeah. Stop cam. There we go. I don't need the camera. Okay, yeah. I had it myself. I had the screen going the whole time. I've been... <laughs> I've been... I've been talking about this for, what, 13 minutes. Thank you for showing up so that you can tell me how I'm... So you can tell... I can... Whatever. You can tell me how I'm screwing this thing up. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me get the social shit. Let me find you on here. Get this to happen. And then get this to happen. There. If you go to go to your DMs and Twitter. Oh, you are. Oh, all right. Well, if you wanna if you wanna grab that uh, link, you can. Um, I threw a link to you in Twitter DMs. So if you want to, if you want to come in, you can, if you can't, that's, that's okay too. So, um, yeah, getting back to the story and I, I'm, I'm looking at a piece of reference. I've got two monitors. I've got stream yards on one. I've got, um, Clip Arts, Clip Art Studio on the other, and I'm looking at a, a piece of reference material in a tab. So let me see if I can separate this out, shrink it down. Uh, it's a, a kid in a car seat, which is, I really need that. Did that just go away on me? Yeah, you know what? I heard you earlier when I was at work. Uh, talking politics, and it sounded it sounded kind of interesting. I mean, it not kind. I mean, it sounded interesting. Um, but I was in the car on the way home, and I was I grabbed a uh, ten minutes before they stopped selling beer in in PA. I grabbed a half a case of uh, beer so I could actually start my weekend. All right, history. Where was I at here? Car booster seat. Give me this picture again all right and this is the uh this is the picture i need there it is and i am i'm getting boomer juice all over the place i'm gonna get rid of my email it's two minutes two there's just too much crap happening right now Window. I have no idea what that is. Window. All right. Yeah, I heard. Um, who did I hear earlier? Um, I don't remember any of the names. It could have been the artist. It could have been the mechanic. You guys were talking about what's going on with the border. Um, interesting theories, I got to say, and in some respects, I hope that, um, you know, the, the, you know, the one dude is right, but I, I, it, it is, it is, it is very possible that, um, Abbott has basically just governed himself into a corner. And now that all these other states are willing to send their national guard, Dude, you know what's really interesting is um, what DeSantis has either resurrected or created out of whole cloth a a state guard, not a national guard, a state guard separate from the federal government. Which why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't anybody? Um, 
and uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, our guys will totally come down there. What I, and, and whenever I heard that, what I thought to myself at first was, I wonder if these are made up of guys who are, were, uh, you know, like were army regular, like this is what they want to do with their life and have not had an opportunity or do not want to work for the, uh, be a contractor for the federal government but they totally will work for DeSantis and they're the, they're the guys that are like, yeah, um, this isn't, this is like, I'm not just a soldier because I want to get paid. They're the, this is my calling in life kind of guys. Uh, anyways, that was pretty, that was pretty interesting. I got to move this over so I can actually see. The uh, the chat, if if there is any, there happens to be some chat. Yeah, I know. I should be uh, promoting myself more. It's one of the reasons why I'm I'm working on the comic. It's kind of like a kind of like a drawstring, but I don't know the next time I'm going to get a chance to work on this. I've got two fenders and a tank sitting in the other room waiting for pinstripe. And a fuel cell for a a 1968, not uh, 67 Nova, aka a Chevy two. Um, interesting thing about this job was I had painted it once already. I did like a a rusty riveted texture on it, and um, I'm gonna try to make a a video of this later when I'm working on it, but working on it again uh what happened what had happened was i painted it uh gave it back to the customer and then it turns out um whoever welded the tank the fuel cell and this is for a drag car so everything is lightweight which means it's made out of aluminum which is a bitch to weld um borget choppers used to and still do, I'm sure. I mean, if they're still in business, if they're still doing that, the chopper thing's kind of, you know, gone away. But um, their frames were made out of a thick, lightweight aluminum. And the, the advantage of that was that they, on these bikes, nor a lot of times you would have an oil tank. But on a Borgette, the oil was pumped through the frame itself. And the frame doubled as the oil tank and because the bike was moving the wind cooled the oil as it moved through the frame it's really ingenious the the thing is um if you don't weld aluminum and and the, this fuel cell that i'm working with is holding gasoline so if you don't weld it the right way if there's a pinhole in there at all and vapors manage to leak out it ruins everything that you've got on top of it, all of the body work, all of the paint work, and and, and that's what happens. So, I, I mean, I, I feel bad for them, but on the other hand, I'm like, why didn't anybody pressure test this thing before they handed it to you? Like, it, you, you should, you, it would have been great to find out if it held gas. These eyes are not exciting enough. They need to be, like, Big excited. She's going for ice cream. And she's she's thinking about is this gonna be chocolate or vanilla? She's got big, big brown eyes, really, really happy, very excited. This is that she cannot wait to get that ice cream. And I don't know. We I don't know. We don't know if if she's ever going to get it. Okay, so we've got that. I, this is one of my biggest problems to like drawing a comic book. Um, I'll zero in on details that I don't, I don't need to just yet. What I need to do is get the, the body done and, and the basics of like 
Is she strapped in okay? Like where are the straps gonna go? Um, you know, basic this, this arm here is, and then her, she's wringing her hands in anticipation, but she's also clutching her teddy bear because her teddy bear is missing an eye. And that comes into play into the story later. In fact, I'm kind of really spoon feeding the audience because she's missing an eye in every in every frame. And um, the teddy bear that I'm the, the teddy bear that I'm drawing is actually something that I got a lot uh, very very used. It was a very popular design when I was. I was airbrushing at the uh, the amusement park that I learned to airbrush at. Um, so I'm basically just it's 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 this it's this cartoon I could draw in my sleep all these years later, and that's all it is. I just he's old, he's beat up, he's very well very well loved, some tough love. Um, cause he's missing that eye and have this arm sticking out there because I think it'll look really cool that the teddy bear is waving goodbye. And then our main character is waving goodbye here. He is going to fuck some people up. It's going to be, I, well, we already saw it in, in some earlier pages that he, um, uh, I swore. Mm, that's not good. I'm trying to be a good person. He uh, he's he's gonna he's gonna mess some people up. He's gonna rearrange major organs, and 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 possibly separate some organs from their owners. Possibly, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, it is. He's not. He's he's not going to be. Very, a very kind, a very kind person. So, so Arnold Carsey, let's do this. These things are so, man, I cannot, the, the bubble wrap that we put around, that we put around kids. You know, this car right here, my dad used to own a Nova, only I would say, Just judging by like my own age, I saw it. It was light blue. It was a Nova. And he had a CB, his CB handle, because everybody had CBs. I mean, this is a guy that worked for Santa Fe Railroad, you know, but didn't matter. It was a toy. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's, I think this part of the car seat's going to be like crowding her head. In fact, these things take up so much freaking space. Um, light blue car, and uh, that went into the CB handle. Blue, the the blue nun, and I could never understand if it was. It had to do with like what was the what did the nun have to do with it? Was it and and what was the phonetics of it or the spelling rather? Was it N U N or was it N O N E? And I'm thinking it was the N O N the E. Um, the CB handles used to be handed out like, you know, you, you, you could be, you could get, you could have got your CB handle from like, a some office pool or something like that. They grabbed it out of a hat and all of a sudden, you know, you're stuck with, you're stuck with a CB handle that you don't like. I remember hearing a story about that once. CBs, man. OG social media. So me and my uh, me and my twin brother are running around the yard. We just got a set of uh, walkie talkies, and we're just fascinated by the idea that we can talk to each other without seeing each other. And uh, it was like one of those toys that just kept you up late at night, you know, way past your bedtime because you're just, you know, I mean. You, you didn't really have anything to talk about. You just 
now well then they'll sleep forever but we're running around the yard talking to each other and then this like other voice chimes in that sounds familiar <laughs> we don't know where it's coming from and uh it's the old man and i come around the corner of the house he's sitting in the sitting in the driver's seat with his uh with the with, with the mic in his hand <laughs> He 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 had basically looked at the back of the walkie talkies and seen the frequency that they're set on and tuned the CB radio into that frequency and I just thought that was the coolest trick. You know what? I haven't taken the time to. I need. I, I whenever I'm done with this, I gotta make a like seriously think about the. Uh, group of, uh, of invitees for this thing. Probably not up, but you never know. It's a Friday, 3.20 on a Saturday morning. Still feels like a Friday. Our girls going for ice cream here. Um, I don't know exactly how far in this A pillar is going to go. It's probably going to be like way out here. There's going to be some structure, uh, like uh, uh, to you know, to deal with, and then like whatever the car seat kind of looks like, whatever the, the and not the car seat, but the actual car's seat is. sitting on and probably well, yeah we'll never see that we'll never we'll never see the uh the actual seat of the car don't have to worry about drawing that as long as it's uh something that she's melody is this is melody everybody say hi hi melody hi everybody She's really happy. Let's see. We'll do this. Put some something that looks like a cushion stitching here. I don't think I, I want my reference in my reference photo. I think I want to bring this this leg up here more. It's it strikes me as a little bit more more modest. Um, I mean, call it, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I don't like, this is where the buckle goes down here, but I also don't, I also don't think that she needs to be, uh, like man spreading or anything like that. So let's see, the knee, the leg. So there, there. Okay. So. There, there. Man, when you get your Clip Studio Pink pencil set just the way that you want. Things are nice and smooth. Yeah, but this is... Word balloons are going to be taking up some space here, I think, in here. So I'm not... To, and this is all going to get knocked back into some kind of a, you know, or a blue line so that I can uh, like put some ink over it. I'm going to move over here for now. I'm trying to get as much done as possible. Uh, That I know, like David Finch, I remember vividly him saying something about like working digitally. Like, this is literally what the size of a 11 by 17 page would be. So, I'll go up to, uh, to the top of the uh, of the program here in view, and then I'll go down to print size. And what I had done was uh, taken a piece of 11 by 17 paper 
put it up on the screen and zero it in and uh, on the actual size of 11 by 17 comic page paper so that um, I had a, a, a realistic, you know, the, the amount of detail and stuff that I could get. I like to back it out to get, um, you know, some basic composition and stuff um, to make sure that, um, I don't know how to say it. Like, um, who had said it the other day? When you work with your thumbnails, um, I think I was, I think I was watching the first or second uh, ISOM review, and um, EVS went down on a tangent about certain guys that like to pencil, and they'll blow up there. I could have been watching somebody completely different. It might, it might have been dark if, but um, work on your thumbnails and then blow those up because the proportions and the action and the motion that you get in your thumbnails disappear if you try to reproduce it at a larger size. Instead, take those thumbnails with all that free flowing emotion and um, and motion and blow it up and work on top of that. So that's why. I like back it out, work on it, and then blow it up and uh, to actual size. Um, so here, my main issue is same pencil size is 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 composition. Um, the car can probably be smaller. This could be the back end of the car here. Um, I'm going to have to refer to uh, my 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 reference material. So I don't think I got something. <clears throat> I don't think I got this Nova right from the back because I took a lot of pictures of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I knew that the car was going to be a Nova. So uh, I was at a car, I was at a, a, a pinstripe uh, charity event in Cleveland where we we, we paint pinstripe panels and stuff for the, the car enthusiasts and um, it's at a world of wheels in Cleveland. And, and I saw a Nova sitting there and I was like, oh, that's the car. I don't have any reference of that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do I have to back into this thing? I got so many angles, but I, I don't think I got it right straight from the back. I have a lot of angles of it where you know, I'll just share a different screen. I got a lot of angles of it. Yeah, whoop. Yeah, got a lot of angles of it. I think I got him to close the hood too. Yeah, I got him to close the hood because um, I wanted to be able to um, use this reference material for like a car chase. And oh, I know why. Yeah, I would. I would have to have moved this chair that's sitting behind it. And there's another car sitting right behind it. And there, I don't think there's any way that I would have been able to, there was no car in front of it, but there was a car behind it. So I couldn't get far enough away. Uh, I, you know, it's a super sport too. I couldn't get far enough away from it so that I could act. Yeah. See that there's a, there's a, yeah, it looks like there's a Burt Reynolds Trans Am right behind it. And there's no way I could get a back end shot of it. If I find one on, um, if I find one online, that'll work. Uh, that's <clears throat> I'll I'll wait for this. I'm mostly concerned about is is our guy right here. I want to make sure that he gets fleshed in. Right, this is. This is Shane. 
Uh, I can show you the page beforehand. I think is it 14. Yeah. Yeah, this is our page beforehand. Now our helper, Trish. Yeah, our helper Trish goes in to the storeroom. And you can tell if it's possible it's zoomed in a little bit to uh, accommodate our characters. But you can see the air hose from... Where are we at? You can't see my pointer. You can see the air hose here. And the same air hose here. So I'm hoping that this is enough continuity between frames. There's a there's a calendar here and a calendar here. There's a Route 66 sign here. And then you can see the bottom corner of it there. And then of course the two doors. There's it, Looks like it's going to say office and then shop on the inside. But uh, one of our one of our major characters, Trish, is going into storage, and then our guys, Pap. This is Pap. That's Melody's grandfather. Um, they're coming back from the zoo. This, uh, you guys are like, this is 14 pages in. There's a, lo a lot has happened beforehand, but um, I've, I haven't, uh, I only just started really seriously trying to, uh, to, to roll up this. So, okay. Of course, and then uh, Melody goes, uh, where are we at? Melody goes running to dad, who is uh, Shane. We have our sweet, Hey, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And the, now just looking looking at her, I might need to change something about her face. I was messing with that for a long time. You can tell by all the scribbling on the hair and stuff like that. Um, but there's a nice shot of, you know, the shop. Um, so there's a 32 Ford Coupe. Uh, that I actually made, I, I, I knew that I was going to be drawing this car over and over again, so I made a, a, a model of it. You guys can see, and that's basically what it is. Made a model of it so that I could accurately represent it through the, you know, through the book. <clears throat> Most of the, you know, what you see there, it's not like an, like an accurate trace, but there's been a lot of controversy and a lot of questioning about like what's allowed and what isn't uh, with our like 3D assets being dropped into uh, multi-million dollar book sales and um, what's what you should trace and what you shouldn't trace. And if this my particular book has a lot of automobiles in it, um, I've been taking pictures uh building models um i've got little hot wheels and stuff just so that i can get perspectives right on specific make and model year cars like uh this little hot latina well i mean you can only see her butt from there but you know she's thick she's in a 64 riviera lowrider and i need to know what that looks like you know and it for you know from every angle so um you know, working on, I, I, I am really, really tempted to get one of those really nice die cast cars. I see a couple of them on sale, uh, on eBay. And for, for instance, the 1965 Buick Riviera, very close. Patrick Swayze drove that car in Roadhouse. The one that had the stop sign stuck through the windshield, very close, but it doesn't have the body molding that the 64 does on the doors. And that's part of what really tips it in the net. The 64 is nice, but um, we're establishing a relationship here with these, uh, these characters and save because everything's fine and backed up on uh, here in other places. But um, I wanted to make sure that I had, this is one of my 
my big bugaboos is being able to get fabric to drape the right way. And, and I never feel that I, that I get it right. Um, and that's one of the nice things about this thick pencil, the way I've got it. I can uh, concentrate on, I want to make sure I get this right. So if shadows going this way from the car, then the, the same shadow is going to be, sunlight's going to be going from there. So I need to be kind of darker on this side. Um, I don't want to, he, he's not some like super, you know, like, like beefy, um, as far as physique goes, you know, like he's, he's not, he's not a muscle builder. He is an effective fighter and that, um, starts to come out in, in, in this frame here. Uh, Trish gets sent into the back of the shop. They're working on a, they're working on a, the, the 32 Ford Roadster is getting a brake conversion done. And um, she goes into the back room. She sent back there looking for brake fluid. And uh, she finds uh, some memorabilia of a past life in another box. It is exactly the same. It's just one box is being used for storage. The other box actually... <clears throat> The other box actually is a case of brake fluid and she you know little short little uh chola girl uh pulls the wrong box down and dumps all this stuff out and and that's where we start to learn about our character and um what he's what he's capable of i certainly hope that i'm you know telling the story effectively that's one of the things that i especially over the past couple of days that like, I do not want to get that wrong. Um, and I'm not trying to do it myself. Like I've been, I've been asking for, uh, you know, not, I've been getting, I've been getting help and getting good advice for a long time. He's, he's actually fully bearded to mostly scruff, but This is all going to get cleaned up. I just want to make sure I got my angles right. If his, you know, collars going around here. And also, if his shoulders lifting it up. There, there. Should be doing this. It looks like he's hunching his shoulders. That's not right. I'm trying to be quick about it because I, I don't want to lose any kind of flow. I am only really putting this hand here because I feel like I, I don't want to have just like empty, empty space. And if he's going to start walking in this direction back towards the shop, because it's indicated like there's going to be a, you know, kind of a crash. Like you can hear somebody drop the box and you might even hear some like Spanish swear words or something like that. Um, there's a Trish is a, it's a, her, her name is Patricia Perez. And then this whole um, book takes place in, it's a, the fictional city of San Lucia, um, but it is basically San San Diego. And I figured if I was gonna, you know, be doing a kidnap story, I, and originally I thought I would like, you know, what you're supposed to do, you write what you know, you know, and what do you know? You know where you live. Um, this kind of shit does not happen where I live, so I had to transport it. Actually, you know, which is one of the things that that is great about the technology of today. If you're trying to be accurate to a place uh, where you're drawing, and that includes highways and roads and things, because that that becomes a, a big a, a, a I don't know. That's not a big part of the story, but it is an important part of the story. Um, 
you know, where, where things take place and where you're going to be able to say like, you know, and, and have continuity between North, South, East, West portions of the, you know, portions of the city. And, um, you know, just kind of like, I don't want my, my readers to feel confused because they're getting twisted around and it's like, I, I bet it, like, if you look it up, Gotham City has a like a plan. Like we all know that Metropolis is supposed to be either New York or LA or what is it? Metropolis is LA. Here, Gotham is New York or Metropolis is New York and Gotham is just the CD version of it but somewhere else like Boston or Philly. These days probably Philly because okay, so shoulder under bicep This is all just like flushing stuff in, which means that's bicep. If that's bicep, then all this stuff kind of goes over here. And close enough. Yeah, because this is all going to get turned blue. And I'll put another layer down and uh, get some detail in. Yeah, um, perfect example, actually. What am I doing down here? Where is it? Yeah, up here, same thing. You know, I am um, uh, not ashamed if I want to get this stuff right. Um, I already know that I can draw. I already know that I can draw. Whoops. What did I do there? I already know that I can draw cars. I'm not worried about, you know, the, the amount of time that I need to spend in the weight room. Um, and when it comes to the, uh, there's going to be a chase scene. When it comes to that later, things are going to be um, like w way different. Uh, they, I won't, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be tracing cars. I'm going to be, you know, using them for the, those photos for reference material so that I can uh, stretch them out and bend them and give them a little bit more action. But, you know, a car that is parked, does not need to look like it's moving. All right, that's Trish. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to open recent and look at her again. I believe it's going to be this page. Yeah. <clears throat> you can see Trish there. And uh, yeah, there's the 32. This car is is very important. This is the IT bucket. It's not a T bucket. It's not, it's not a Model T. It's not a Model A. Um, I believe it's a 32 Ford Roadster with a rumble seat. There's a there's something very special um, in that rumble seat. This looks like an old uh, hot rod, but this got some it's got some modern stuff going on in the ass end. I might need to I might need to work on Trish a little bit. Although I, I need to move these pages along. I mean they they, they need to get done. Um so I just I was I was just looking at this like yeah, headband goes under the ponytail, and that's really the only reason why I opened that page. So ponytail, headband. Here. No, she's supposed to be like a a short little kind of a chunky fireball of a Latina Chola girl. So I just want to get some basic stuff in here. She's like a a twenty something. Um, she like basically pestered 
this guy, Shane. Shane owns the shop. He owns the hot rod shop. And pestered him for a job. Uh, and basically just wore him wore him down. You know, she would she would come out there and start hanging out and stuff like that, watching what he's doing, asking questions. And, you know, he doesn't want anybody around. He's busy doing his own thing. Um, and there's a reason why he uh, would rather be uh, alone. It's 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 not healthy. Um, but she basically, you know, basically just kind of like wore wore him down as. If you've ever seen um, High Fidelity, uh, John Cusack's character talking about Jack Black and that other guy who's absolutely brilliant, that little wafy dude, um, they showed up one day and they were just, you know, absolute total nerds, music nerds. He goes, they, and they just, they never went home. <laughs> so he had no choice but to... Uh, to keep them on and that's basically what happened with her she just she re, she refused to leave <laughs> you know asking questions and you know she's just this little you know to him you know like at, 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 at his age you know there's just this this uh well, like cute kid because she's older but um you know he, he she she wears him down he ends up seeing like the potential and then you knowing that uh you know he needs help, which is a main thing about this character. This guy here does not know that he needs help, like so many of us. Um, he would rather just deal with his his issues on his own, and um, you know thinks that he's got his his shit together. But um, like so many of us, you know, we realize that uh, that he doesn't. This is a storeroom, so let's see. Door, there's got to be. Man, this is going to be a. This is going to be a. It's going to be a panel, man. There's going to be. Man. There's going to be shelves in here. I tell you one thing that I am intimidated about, uh, 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 like knowing where the story goes. Is it door frame? And then the door swinging open. Um, one thing that intimidates me a little bit is going to be. So this is I got to remember. Look, this is this is the kind of this is the kind of shit I'm talking about right here. See if I can open up something else for you. It's, it's the, the you know the research that goes along with this character and what you know, what he wears. I'm not trying to do an exact duplicate, but I'm looking for. Um. Anyways, characters and in there are is it characters? Locations. Okay this okay a freaking floor plan so that i know that when when trish is walking in here pap and melody are walking out of here this is where the 32 is this is where shane is standing and and this is where that there's like another car there just like in in the corner but I need to know where the toolboxes are, where the spray booth is, where the entrance is, where the exit is, you know, and all that stuff. So that, you know, there's, you know, continuity and what a pain in the butt. This is the, all the stuff that always intimidated me about writing and drawing a comic book is it's all that stuff. And I swear the whole reason, not the whole reason, but a big reason why my art career steered towards custom paint is because so, for some reason that seemed easier to do. I'm hand to God. So <clears throat> if this is the storage, let me blow it up here. If this is the storage room, and he's walking through this door and she's trying to pick up a mess here. That means there's a shelf here and there's nothing on this wall. Wrong page. 
So that's door, corner, shelf. Or something something like that. <clears throat> could be like this wall could come over here and, and there's the shelf, but I want to kind of split the scene a little bit to give myself a word for dialogue here. That makes sense. But then I got to put stuff on the shelf. And anyways, I'm, I'm more concerned about making, because like she has a specific body type that I don't want to, I don't want it to vary between one or the other. This outfit is supposed to be fitting like, like, kind of uh like like kind of snug i guess well, not really but that's the thing it's like 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 how fabric lays across you know one thing versus uh versus another um box of stuff is going to be here yeah, this is wrong I can have stuff sticking out of it because the, some of the stuff that she finds is a um, foreshadows the story. Like right here, she's holding a trophy for a, um, and it doesn't matter, state, like a martial arts, it doesn't matter what discipline. He knows a few. Um, and that's part of his, you know, part of his backstory. Um, so he knows a few of them. Okay, I want to have. Her shit needs to be buttoned kind of low, little cleave, and then, okay. Just got one hand on the, the box here. It should be a little bit more slender hand because she's little, she's just a little fizz gig. And this is, she's like one of those little, um, she's, one of those like a sh um what's the best you know what in fact i probably should find i've never watched the show but uh um what's her face from jersey shore that little chunky one like that but latina and you know one of those like not to be fucked with like a um selma hayek as a bad guy kind of thing just a little bit just a little bit meatier and then, um, yeah, so she pulls stuff out of this box that she thought was brake fluid. And, oh, my God, what is it? Man, it's almost 4 o'clock. Just maybe get some detail on, on him. So there's going to be a light on in the storage room. So if there's going to be a light on, there's going to be a wall switch. So there's going to be light from overhead. So there's going to be shadows underneath here, here. Um, this should probably be all dark under here. This is all just like, it, I hope I remember all this stuff because I don't want to have to see freaking watch my own stream again so I can remember what I was thinking. Beard. Headband. Everybody, of course, they're, they're both wearing um, they're both wearing headbands because you know you're talking a southern, way southern California. Um, it's going to be hot. Sweat gets in your eyes, and that's main the main reason why you have one of these things on in that environment. It's not it's not it's not like supposed to be Rambo cool or anything like that. It's actually pretty functional um yeah he doesn't really tuck his shirt in or anything like that he just has it on so it can get dirty um he wants to know what's going on and the first thing that he sees is that trish is accidentally it's not her fault um she pulled down a box that was identical it literally is just an old a, a box that had a case of brake fluid in it that's being used for storage stuck next to a box of a box of, of brake fluid they look exactly the same and 
she went looking for it and um, pulled the wrong one down. And now she's seeing um, stuff that she didn't know about this her her boss that she's been working with for for a while. And so she's got she's got questions. It's nothing um, nothing evil or anything like that. She's just like, man, I didn't know this about you. You know, you you know, like he has a reputation for being a badass for a couple of years and um, came close to being um, in prison for just, um, he, you know, put, put a guy in the hospital. Uh, we're talking about a, an angry man. Um, he has, you know, been through some shit in his, in, in his life and growing up and, uh, was, you know, he needs to be taller here. He's either that or he's, I don't want to give him Josh Brolin head, you know, like his head's too big for his body and his arms are too short or, or whatever, but, um, but yeah, there's an exchange between the two of them about, um, what is her business? It's not her fault. And he has to like catch himself. Cause you know, we're talking about a, a character who has to learn how to not fly off the, the handle. Cause he knows it, it gets him in trouble. There's a, there's a rage factor. Um, and he's, you know, he's trying to be a better person because he has a, he has a, he has a daughter now that he loves very much and wants to make sure that, um, she has a good, good role model. I really dig this. Uh, I, I, I might be able to do this. He, this, I've been trying to like figure out like what it is I'm supposed to do with my YouTube channel. Sometimes I'm, um, working on a pinstripe project. Sometimes I'm, I don't know. I tried doing comic. I was just talking about this the other day, trying to do comic book reviews and not doing any good at it at all. I, I erased all the ones that I had up there. I was like, I couldn't be honest about it because I, I, you know, I, 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 I cared too much about the people that were creating the books so that I couldn't be objective about whether they sucked or not. And um, I'm glad I did. I think it was like, I started, I took them down like a year ago or something. I'm glad I did because like all this time later with this um, the shit that's going on with is the damn thing good or not? It does not matter how much money it made. Does the book suck? Yes, no. Uh, I do not want that to happen with my book. I don't even know if this is ever going to get published. I'm just, I'm, I'm down with the sickness. I like got a monitor that I can draw with versus the Wacom tablet I was using. Uh, I was working with um, Procreate on my iPad and then doing traditional on the 11 by 17, which I think the next page I'm going to try doing that with. Uh, I need to get back to that. This has all been, um, I've done the majority of work with Clip Studio Paint because it's right there in front of me when I go to sit down with the computer and I don't have to like charge the apple pen i don't have to go over to the art table and set up a camera whatever like this i can just i can sit down and start working on it and it's great um and i'm i'm getting used to it i'm getting a lot more used to it than let me put a doorknob here a lot a lot more used to it than um well it's just happening and thank god because it's been taking forever it's like and again why I'm getting down on this now. And I've been working on this for like a couple of days and it, it feels so good to be able to work on something flat. The next time I go to pick up a tool, it's going to be a roll of tape. I'm going to have to compose something on pinstripe three tins and use the vinyl cutter. And there's a, there's a bunch of bike work coming down the pike, which I have to put this down in order to get those done and out of the way, get paid so that I can like pick this up again. Um, but I think for tonight, I, I have no choice but to be happy with the progress. It's four in the morning. I might try to find, uh, see what else is going on before I, before I hit it. But what is it? An hour. This is the shortest stream. Um, I feel pretty good about where I'm at on this page. I know that things are going to get better, but this is, this, this is a, this is a turning point in the story right here. Um, in fact, I didn't even realize it until I really started working on it. You know, this, this frame up at the top, this panel, I, I might 
mess around with. I'm trying to get this, like the perspective is they're walking towards the car. The car's at one angle. Pap is going around the front and Melody is in that, um, you know, how little kids can get when you're holding them. They, they want to get down. Like she's going for ice cream. She does not want to be held. Let me go. It's time. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I want the car seat. I want to get into Pap's hot rod and I want to go get ice cream. Let me go. Um, the kids can be like that, you know, like you just saw them. They just were like giving you all kinds of uh, love about uh, we came back from the zoo and we saw all the aminoles, which I'm definitely putting in for uh, a piece of dialogue. I know that she's going to say it wrong. Like my little girl went, um, well, little girl. She's old enough to vote now, but when she was when she was smaller, she always used to say um, uh, water lemon instead of watermelon. Because she knew what a lemon was and she knew what water was, but she didn't know what a melon <laughs> was. So, was it, <clears throat> so, yeah, we were, you know, we came home or we, we just got back from the zoo. It was a lot of fun. We, we saw all the aminals and he's like, it's animals, animals, it's aminals. And then, uh, you know, they stop in for a minute. They, you know, they, they, they talk about the, you know, what's being worked on in the shop there and, um, waiting for somebody to show up. He's not there. So they, they go to, they go to get some ice cream and, uh, and that's what that's what happens here. And then Trish drops. There's a couple catalysts happening. Oh, excuse me, right here. In fact, it really when I think about it, this page is probably one of the most important pages in the I know they're all important, but this one here is a transition from man, when I really think about it, a trans this between the fourth panel of the um, Sorry, the third panel and the fourth panel, we're about to see our main character, Shane McCabe, turn and do in the complete and total 180, who he was and who he's about to become again. And um, man, I'm, I'm excited, but hour nine minutes. <clears throat> um, let me see if I can get into the brand here. Guys, like and subscribe. I want to talk about this more. I, I, I might be onto something here. If I can like just sit there and like talk about the comic while I'm working on it. And uh, it's a lot easier to do from Clip Studio Paint. But uh, I don't know. There's other stuff to talk about. But okay, woo. Oh, it's already happening. I'll talk to you guys. Um, thanks for showing up, uh, those that did. And uh, peace out. Have a good weekend um, and get some get some good sleep. I know I'm going to. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Share the video with your friends, and don't forget to visit my website, idcrisisdesign.com. You can see a lot of great artwork and my products for sale. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I have enjoyed this conversation in English. ID Crisis nailed it. There you go.